How's it going everybody, Bunch of Pokemon here, and in this video I'm going to be opening this Astral Radiance booster box. Now I got this for a really good deal and I'm still missing a lot of cards out of this set, so this is why I figured I should open one more booster box. Now as similar to the Japanese um, Lost Abyss booster box that I opened earlier, I haven't pulled a alt art out of this set either. Actually come to think of it, uh, I haven't really pulled an alt art at all. The last alt art I pulled was the Rayquaza V from Evolving Skies, which is good because that was my chase card, which basically meant I was done with this set after pulling that. But other than that, yeah, not not having a whole lot of luck with the with the alt arts. All right, there we go. So we have a lot of booster packs to go through, which means I won't be doing the card trick just to save on little time. Let's get the code card, get this out of here, and let's start it off with a Teddy Ursa, a Zuian Sneasel, Mistrevis, Barboach, Scyther, a Reverse, is that a rare? No, that's an uncommon. And a holographic Zuian Decidueye, really nice. And then the other cards right there. So. English booster boxes. I am someone who prefers Japanese booster boxes, to be fair, but I can definitely see the appeal, because first of all, if you don't speak Japanese, at least you can read the cards, if you open an English booster box, and I suppose you get more cards? I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing or not. Depends on how you look at it. I think it's cool. Look at this Eevee. Very, very cute. Like that illustration, Heracross. Nice, we've got one of the trainer gallery cards. That centering is awful. This is really cool, and I already have this in Japanese, but I love Gardevoir. This is probably going to end up in my Gardevoir collection, anyways. And the other cards are these ones. Alrighty, can I sleeve for the Gardevoir and move it on? So the first booster box I've opened for for this set. I opened two of the, um, whatchamacallit, the character secret rares, so that's, that's what they were called in VMAX Climax. So no alt art, unfortunately, but we'll see if this box is a bit more kind to us. Although I do have to say, I wouldn't mind- Ooh, nice, okay. We've got a Radiant card, a Radiant Talucha. Very nice. <gasps> oh my god, are you serious? Are you, f are you serious? This is actually one of the chase cards I really wanted from this set. That is absolutely amazing. Let me just put this down, show the other cards, and I suppose the code card right here. Oh my god, that's that's absolutely amazing. First of all, sleeve up the Halucha. And then, let's look at this one. Yo! Do you, I don't even care if the centering is off, because this is going to go into my, um, what should we call it, into my binder anyways. Yo, this is one of the chase cards I really wanted from the set. I'm so happy about this. I'm super, super happy about this. Alright, those are two sleeves. Get a penny sleeve. Yo. You, you can't even imagine how happy I am. You can chill out at the top of the stack over here. You're gonna give us- you're gonna give us good luck, Dialga. Oh boy! What an opening! What an opening! And we all- and, and we have so many packs still to go through. That's absolutely- absolutely amazing. I'm super happy about that. Now I don't know the odds. If I'm- if I'm struggling to open this pack, there you go. Now I don't know the odds, um, for pack openings. I think you don't even guarantee the secret or, or a, um, an alternate art. Um, I don't know what else we can pull from here. We have pulled the alternate art, and it is one that I really wanted. Uh, we should get a few more trainer card, uh, or trainer gallery cards, I should say. Canceling Cologne, and a non-holographic Regirock. Those are the other cards right here. And the code card. Right, let me get these. Scored away over here. So what I was going to say, 
one, well, this is one card that I wanted, This is why, which is why I'm opening this booster box up. There is also the Stormy V, which, uh, from the Tren Trena card gallery, uh, which features uh, Misty. Which features Misty, and there's also the Garchomp V, which fe features Cynthia. Both are still two of those cards I need for my Trainer card gallery collection. So I'd really like to pull one, either of these two, either of those two, which would also be very nice, is Hizuian Bravery. And those are the other cards. There you go, code card. So this set has so many amazing pulls. It's not just this, um, this alternate art that looks absolutely amazing. There's, of course, the Palkia as well. Um, I personally, I'm personally a really fan of the, or a really, um, huge fan of the uh, Lilligant alternate art. I think that one looks really, really cute. But then again, any alt art you pull out of this is gonna be amazing. There's the, what is that, the Macham, there's the, the Beedrill. Um, there's the Zuian Sneasler, and we have a Machamp V. Very nice. And the other cards. And the code card. So, Machamp V. Sleeve that one up. I'm gonna go next to Diaga, because Diaga needs to stay on top. Because it's gonna give us the good luck. And I'm struggling to open these packs. There you go. Maybe I should open them from the bottom. Seems to be a bit easier. Alright. Bronzor. Rowlet. Oshawott. Scyther. Standler. Vespaquin. And a Hizuian Lilligand. Speaking of Lilligand, the alt art for this one is also really amazing, as I've said. I really love this. I might put it on the screen if I remember to do it in editing. But I'm really happy. That we've pulled at least one altar. The curse has been broken. We'll see if we continue that streak when the new set, or both of the new sets, uh, Lost Origin should arrive at or on the 9th of September. And then there's the other one, the newer Jap Japanese set, which comes out 2nd of September. Now we'll take some time to get it imported, so unfortunately I won't be able to opening it uh, to open it when it releases. But should be at most one week later, so maybe it overlaps with the Lost Origin opening. But anyways... Anyways, Standler. Bergmite. Hippopotas. A Paragli. And a Hizuian Arcanine, okay. And those are the other cards, and of course the Code card. So let's see, we should still... we should be guaranteed a few more trainer cards. Or trainer gallery cards. What's going on? Trainer cards. Um, in VMAX Climbers, they were called character rares. So I might stick to that. Man, Japanese packs are are a lot easier to open. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just uh, acting a bit stupid here. Bergmite, Rafflet, Ponyta, a Chat Dot. We have a Reggie Draco Reverse Rare. <laughs> and another Reggie Draco. Okay. It's the Reggie Draco pack. Oh, and a V-Star marker. Nice. And the code card. So yeah, what else is there? There is the, I think the Blaziken V, the character secret rare from V-Mace Tummies is also in here. Uh, there's a few trainers in here as well. Um, of course, the, gosh, I've forgotten the... The clan leader from the from the Pearl Clan. What's her name? I've forgotten. How could I have forgotten the name? I literally bought that card almost at the beginning or at the release of Astro Radiance. How could I have forgotten the name of her? So that one is in here. Gusty Pickaxe. Thievel. I think Adaman should also be in here. If she's in here, then Adaman should be in here. Oh yeah, yeah. Roxanne is also in here. From Diamond and Pearl, first gym leader from Diamond and Pearl. Was it from Diamond and Pearl? No, she's the first gym leader from the Hoenn region. I always get those two mixed up. No, no, no. Um, I should know. We we did a um, an Omega Ruby randomizer, at least the first episode. I haven't gotten around to recording the second episode yet. Roxanne. Anyways, Petalil, Standler, Bergmite, Hippopotus. Cyndaquil, Barboach, and Adamant. Speaking of Adamant, 
There you go. Just a normal rare version though, but this is nice. This is gonna go set aside. Fire Energy, Golduck, Super Effective Glass, and Cricketoon, and of course the Code Card. Speaking of Adaman, how could I have forgotten her name? Anyways, there's a lot of lot of amazing pulls that I still want to get out of this set. Uh, we've got one. Really, really nice. I'm really, really happy about that. I'm only missing the Palkia V. Well, actually, I'm missing all the alt arts. But the Palkia V, or the origin form Palkia V, is really high up on my list of cars that I either want to pull or want to get. Bastion and a Reg Ice, non holographic rare. And the other cards, and of course the code card. So yeah, we're almost done with the with the right side of the booster box. We've pulled our our chase card very early on, but there should still be a few pulls left in here. So let's see what we can get. Rowlet, Zine Quillfish, an Ashawat, a Hoot Hoot, Ponyard, Dark Patch, and a non-holographic Ursaluna. Curly, a Grant, a Grant, of course. Grant is another one. Now, there are leaks for Lost Origin. Let's just talk about Lost Origin here. The set that comes out uh, 9th of September. Um, there are, there have been a few leaks. Of course, there are a few more VMAX Slimax cards that made it into the set. Uh, most notably, from what I could tell, was the um, Black and Gold Mew. I already have that in Japanese for my Mew collection. But that is cool. Might get that one in English as well. Um, I still don't know if Mew V from uh, Fusion Strike is still really, really good in the in the competitive TCG scene. From what I've heard, it was. Oh, there you go. Origin form Diaga V. Normal form. Nice. Um, from what I've heard back in the day, or a few weeks ago at least, it, it was really, really good in the English TCG. Which is why the English card, the English Mew V, was so much more expensive than the Japanese one. I have both the, the Japanese um, Mew V Max and Mew V from, from Fusion Strike. And those ones were really cheap. They're really awesome cards, really cheap. And I was really surprised to see that the English ones were so much more expensive, but I guess that just goes to show the competitive scene actually plays a huge role. It's not just collectors, of course, as you would. The, the competitive scene impacts this quite a bit. And then Fossil, another Roxanne. Would we'll really be happy to, to get a full art of Roxanne. Or the, um, yeah, the full art. Full art trainer. But I can't complain. Like, honestly, I cannot complain about this. We are getting a bit, uh, a bit left out here. Only a few hollows and a V. We really love to get another trainer card. Trainer gallery card. We'll see what we can get. And another non holographic Registeel. And there's the code. Looks like two more boosters on the right side. And then we're moving on to the left side. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna put in a call. I think in this one there's gonna be another trainer car or trainer gallery card. Calling it now. And it's gonna be. Okay, I'm gonna say the card as well. It's gonna be. The Stormy. Oh god, okay. I was right with the Trainer Gallery. That is actually considered a um, character secret rare in VMAX Climax. And this one is just an ultra rare in um, in English. But this is really, really nice. Okay, Glacian. I like this artwork of Glacian. Like the artworks in Astral Radiance, 90% of them are super cute. Look at this. Look at this Azelf. Super cute, super well illustrated. Nice. Okay. We've got a character secret rare, which is why, what I'm going to call it. A Shadow Rider Calyrex V. Really nice. Who's that? Is that Hop? No, that's not Hop. I don't know who that character is. I might have forgotten. I, th I thought for a second it was Hop. But, uh, no. This is really nice as well. Oh, how could I? How could I put the the normal origin form Diaga V on top of the alt art? How could I do that? Man, look at this. So far, really amazing pulls. This booster box has been blessed. Quite amazingly, I should say. Open the last pack from the right side. 
and Hoot Hoot, Cricketard, a Sudowoodoo, Combi, Drifloon, Jubilee Village, and a Bastion on Holographic. Okay, Sizu, yes. Oh, Irida, now I could remember the name. Her name is Irida, the, the leader of the Pearl Clan from Legends Arceus. Of course, that one in a in a full art. It's not too expensive, but it is a really cool card. And always more full art trainers is always nice. I've started a budget collection for Japanese trainer cards, or full art trainer cards. Like some of these, especially from VMAX Climax, are super cheap and super affordable. Also from the newest set from I have seen, Lost Abyss, like uh, Thornton, I think is really, really cheap from the newer set, and it's crazy because all of these cards are still amazing looking and are definitely worth it, and well, for me it's great because I get I get amazing looking cards for cheap, which is nice. I think we're, we're experiencing something because of the whole world situation going on right now. What we're experiencing is that prices for Pokemon cards uh, are gonna go down immensely. I think over in the US they already have. Um, Europe over here, it's it's always a bit slower. We're always a bit slower to react, if at all. Most of our cards are still the same price. They've definitely gone down quite a bit. But I think the US, in the US, they're still a bit cheaper. Also, I haven't been pulling out these rares, I don't think. I've forgotten that. And I'll go through the cards after I'm done with the opening anyways. And especially greater cards. As you might have seen the other video where I compared the card market grading slab with the with the ones for um, from PSA, BGS, and CGC, and well, it didn't do too badly. But I think, oh, nice Garchomp V. Speaking of Garchomp, no, no, unfortunately not the Trainer Gallery Secret Rare or Character Secret Rare, but I'll take it. It's a Garchomp. Garchomp is cool. So yeah, I think especially graded cards since. It is much more expensive for us in Europe to not only just send stuff over to the US to these grading services, but also get them re-imported. If you don't know what you're doing, you have to pay value added tax. And usually the value they put on the package is quite high to ensure it's well to ensure it's insured. Sounds weird, but it is. To ensure that you get if it ever gets lost or damaged, that you get uh, your money back. And if, if on the package it says like two and a half thousand euros, because that's how much they need to insure it, then you're going to pay 20% or 19% on top of that here in, in Germany. And that's, that's ridiculous. I need to pay another almost 500 euros just to get my cards back. Plus shipping, plus the fees for grading. And I think that's, that's part of the reason why graded cards, especially in Europe, are so much more expensive as in the US. I've seen cards in the US go for a really low amount, which is kind of surprising to me, but I guess it makes sense, because it's much easier to send cards over to CGC, PSA, and BGS, and what else there is? CSG, no, CG, SGC, I think, is also there. They have some pretty cool, cool slaps. But for us in Europe, it's kind of a bummer. But anyways, any hoosers? Luciana. Glamiao, Yanma, Swinup. Oh, nice! Radiant Heatran! I actually pulled this in my first opening as well. Actually, have I? No, I might have mixed this up. I think I pulled this in Japanese. I'm pretty sure I pulled this in Japanese. Alright. Ponyard, Poochie. Drifloon, Yanma, Sudowoodoo, a Togepi, very cute, chilling on top of a wall, looks like. Don't fall off. And a non-holographic Glaceon, with a really nice artwork, though. And the code card. So how could I not put this Radiant Heatron in a sleeve? How could I not? Open this up. Let's see, there's also been news for the last Sword and Shield set that's, that's gonna, gonna get released. I've forgotten what it's called. 
Well, a reverse rare Adamon. And a worthier V Star. That's also one for the full art that's really cool. Alright. Yeah, there aren't going to be a whole lot of sets left in the Sword and Shield era of Pokemon. Of course, um, Scarlet and Violet are going to be releasing soon. Uh, they've recently um, put some details on Twitter. I don't know if they had like a press conference or something, or a stream. But a few more details, a few more Pokemon were uh, were unveiled. Um, a Wooper, they get a... I forgot what the region is called. But Wooper is getting a new form. Oh, nice! Another weirdier, but this one for a from our trainer gallery. Nice. That is really cool. Reggie Lecky, Sizu. And there's the code. Get a sleeve for this one. Nice. I really like the trainer gallery cards. And any set that has a trainer gallery is gonna be amazing. Um, I've heard from a lot of people that they doesn't necessarily don't like the fact that almost every set has trainer gallery cards now. Uh, we've had them before in Cosmic Eclipse, but in Cosmic Eclipse they were more rare. I feel like well, with Cosmic Eclipse because Cosmic Eclipse was the was kind of like the only set that had them, so they felt a little bit more rare as compared to now, where they feel a bit more common. I just think they're an amazing addition to a. Reverse rare spot. They don't even take your your hollow spot, and which is why I think the, the this is amazing. Because I'd much rather take a trainer gallery card over a reverse rare card, to be quite honest. And all of these artworks look super cute. I really like them. Or just this leaf here. Look at this. This is a non-holographic rare, but look at this artwork. Like the artists for these latest sets have knocked it out of the park. Like every single one looks absolutely amazing. This do what? Just chilling in a pool. Or this young mega. Like we're we entering now an era where the where the artwork for every single card is super amazing and super cool. As I'm struggling to open this pack. This pack really doesn't want to open, eh? There we go, we got it open. Alright, Hizui and Quillfish. Another Hizui and Quillfish. Rowlet, Oshawott, Hoot Hoot. And there you go, another Trainer Gallery card, a Galarian Obstagoon. Very nice. Ooh, and a Hizui and Sneasler. A double pack here. Or Gardenia, of course. Gardenia's Vigor is another card. Another full art trainer card that I would love, love, love to pull. But as I've said so many times, I can't complain. I've got one of my chase cards from this, from this booster box. And this is just this is this is super cool. Now pulling one um pulling one chase card, I think I'm gonna call it here. I don't think I'm gonna be opening more Astral Radiance from, from this point out. I think I'm just gonna buy the other... my other chase cards that I really want. Just so I don't, you know, waste my money just opening packs and not getting what I want. Of, of course, you should never open... open a booster box hoping you get the cards you want. You should just buy it outright. Because in the long run, that might be cheaper. But if you're really itching to open some packs, I guess the, the blisters, the um, the three booster blisters are usually very good. But other than that, maybe an ETB. Although an ETB is kind of either hit or miss, really. Um, I've never had bad experience with an ETB personally. But I've heard from a lot of people, and I think it's true, honestly. It's just random packs. If you buy an ETB, you might as well just go into a store and pick random packs from a booster box. Which might have the same effect. So you should keep that in mind. But most of these alt arts are super cheap, super affordable. And this is definitely nice because I love alt arts. Absolutely. Trekking shoes. And a shaman. Temple of Sinnoh. That's another gold one. We'll see. We have three more packs left here. Get the booster books out of here. Three more packs left. 
Let's see if we can uh, either end it with a hollow or a V. How many Vs have we gotten? We've gotten four V. No, we've gotten five Vs. I think we're going to get another V. Uh, how many trainer gallery cards have we gotten? We've gotten four trainer gallery cards. I don't think we're going to get another trainer gallery card. We might get one more, um, one more V or one more full art, full art trainer. No more alt arts, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Energy Lotto and a non-holographic uh, Basque Legion and the code card. Okay, two more packs. As I'm struggling again to open this. Doesn't want to open. There you go. There we go. Heracross. Teddy Ursa. Mantine. A Scyther. A Basculin. Heracross. And an unholographic Regirock. And the code card. Okay. Last pack magic. Can we end it with a hollow at least? You know, I would take I would take a hollow Erida. That would be a good end. I would take that. I would take just a normal, normal hollow Erida, and I would be happy about that. All right, actually, for the last one, let me pull out the code card. I said I'm not going to do the card trick, but this is the last pack, so we might as well. I'm going to go to the front, put this one away because it's just an energy. And spicy season curry, by Sharp. Choi. Combi. Rolts, Nicket, Togepi, a Chat Dot, a Reverse Rare Rich Lecky, and oh, I think we have something. Do you see that shine? We have something here. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Yo, we've got a B drill. Nice. We actually ended up with uh, with one more of these ultra rares. I think they're all. Well, no, they're all ultra rares, but one of these. These uh, full art ones. There you go. Full art Beedrill. Man, man, man. What a box. What an absolute pleasure to open this one. Really, really. Let me just go through the cards real quick and pull out some of our best best pulls here. Okay, so these were our pulls, of course. The origin from the Agave. Super happy about this one. Beedrill V in the last pack. Last pack magic. Shadow Rider Calyrex. Um, in total, we've got four Trainer Gallery cards. Which I think is a, it's average. I think this is what you're guaranteed, question mark, in every booster box. So this is really nice. Of course, God of War is really nice. Really like that one. Even though I already have it in Japanese. Uh, we've pulled, I think, four. Yeah, four normal Vs. Sneasler, Garchomp, uh, the other Dialga V. Machamp, and of course, two, two Radiant cards. The Heatron and the Halucha. I really like the Radiant cards. Um, I have to be that kind of person, and I have to say the Japanese Radiant cards look better, in my opinion, than the English ones. This ones, although they have a bit of sheen to them, I feel like the Japanese ones have have a little bit more sheen than this one. But other than this, I still love the, the Radiant cards. Really, really like them. But there you go. Those were the polls. That was my opening of, the Astro Ra of an Astro Radiance booster box. Um, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, a like would be appreciated. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more uh, amazing content coming soon. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.